Hi guys, welcome to Studio Wildlife. In today's video I thought I would show you how I painted this acrylic tiger. I painted this tiger just on watercolour paper, I think it's 300 GSM watercolour paper, and I got this in a pad of about 12, I think it's Windsor and Newton. But when I'm at work I don't really have time to actually paint full time, and obviously, that was stupid. But I take the time to just spend a couple of hours a night, or so a couple of hours here and there when I can, just to paint little things like this. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do this, what my process is, and talk you through my steps so that maybe you can do this as well at home or at school, or after, sorry, after, after, at home, after work, or at home, after school, or even on a weekend when you have loads of free time. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, please, please, please make sure to subscribe. Um, it really means a lot and it really does help me and Amber produce more great content for you. And remember to like the video. So to start with, I use a small square bristle brush. I'm just using some Payne's Grey for this. And I've just watered it down and I'm just blocking in a tiger roughly. Just studying my reference photo as closely as possible. You guys will get better at this the more you practice. And then using a small, I think it's a number one round brush, but don't quote me on that. I'm just refining my drawing a little bit more using black paint. And again, just watering it down just to do the drawings, just to make it as refined as possible. You can see that I'm not really moving too far away from my initial drawing because I've pretty much done it. Then I block in the background with a big flat square brush and block in some basic colors on the tiger's face. Again, just using thin washes. The way that I do these little sketches is I just build up from dark to light and I'm not really too focused on putting in major details. I'm just putting in the impression of fur and the impression of those details as quickly as I possibly can. Because again, this isn't a piece that takes me hours and hours or days and days. It just takes me an hour or two to finish because that's all I really have time for. As I go, I'm just building up those colours. For the eyes, I'm just using some yellow ochre, some raw umber, and a little bit of white just to lighten it up. And I work in the three stages of dark on the top for the shadows, a mid-tone near the bottom, and then some light highlights to top it off. To finish it off, I just use some glazing, and that's just using thin washes of colour. You've heard me talk about that in other videos. If you haven't, go and check out my How to Paint a Tiger video. You should definitely go and give that a watch. Especially if you want to learn more about how to paint a tiger in more detail, head to that video. I'll put a link in the description below. I finish it off by just putting in the whiskers, using a dagger brush or a sword liner it's called and this is one of my absolute favorite brushes for this but you can see how quickly i can just block in those whiskers how fine those hairs can be with this brush and it's not really taking much effort it's quick easy and i've got a finished sketch if you'd like to learn more about drawing a tiger or painting a tiger please check out my other video you can see that in the caption up at the top now go and have a click on that i hope you liked the video if you did please blaze bees make sure to give us a subscribe and as always head over to studiowildlife.com for more wildlife art tips